obviously it's really exciting to see our stuff in your rig. I got a bunch um, of it in there. Maybe we could just start up here. Uh, how do you use these things? Well, the preamp, when I'm sound checking, I'll go back and I will just move something a little bit. You know, I'll just find one sound and I'll tweak something the tiniest bit and so save it. Usually it's a mid-range question for me. That's where the truth lies in the mid-range, if you ask mm -hmm. me. You know, I can sweep it at the right, just right at the perfect place yep. and find that out of phase thing. I mean, I could, honestly, I could just make a whole rig out of just these two, mm -hmm. and, you know, nobody would know the difference. Every time I go in the studio, I take one of those in there with me. If you play with it, you know, you can really go somewhere with the thing. And I think a lot of your pedals are that way, to tell you the truth. I mean, there are a few things, like the dark world stays pretty much where it is, like watery, you know, something where I want the audience to notice the reverb. Jerry uses a Thermae, so... uh a lens cap. <laughs> Usually we use vintage since in the studio, but I don't like to bring those out on the road. Sure. So this covers the, those bases. My B3, this is a digital Mellotron over here. I've got Mike Beauchamp's Theravox, which is a beautiful two-voice synth. Sometimes I just, you know, I'm here and I get bored and I'll look back and I'll be like, yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna go over <laughs> here. <laughs> so here's the Thermae. I'm running it through this Omnicord here. Oh, shit, okay. Mm -hmm. You know, as far as the Thermae goes, apart from the octave shifting that it does so wonderfully and in such a unique way, it is, hands down, it's my favorite sounding delay that I've actually ever used. You know? So I'm using very beautiful pedal through this wonderful toy instrument. Over here on the controller, you know, if, I, if I'm using the tonal recall, I can go over here and hold this down and it repeats and swells. And then when I let off and we go back into the chords of the song, it makes sense. I loaned Amanda the blooper one day. because She was like, you have any pedals that might be fun to mess around with? And I'm in the studio today. And I was like, yeah, here, here you go, take this. And she called like two hours later. She said, what the f am I supposed to do with this thing? And I was like, well, that's the trick. Yeah, just do whatever it's doing. Start there, you know, don't do it as the fourth step of the process. Do it as the first step, you know. Nothing is, is draining my signal. I have a ton of options and it's fun.